ท่านั้นภาวนาสักพักหนึ่งตรวจการ your mind in from wherever it's been traveling this morning think of a huge flock of birds suddenly landing on the lamppost they're swirling around swirling around and then they can come right down on the post and space themselves out nicely in the flash of an eye you want to be able to bring your mind down quickly too After all, this is a short period of meditation. You don't have the luxury of gradually gliding down. So ask yourself, where is your spot? Go right there, and resist any tendency to move off or anything that would push you off, or anything that would lure you away. You know the story of Si t o n o n c h a i and the king. Si t o n o n c h a i was well known for being very clever and having fooled the king many times and gotten away with it because he was so clever. One day, Si t o n o n c h a i is down in the river. The king comes by on the bank of the river and he says, "You're really clever, I know, but there's no way you can get me down in the river." s i t o n o n c h a i thinks for a minute. He says, "You know, you're right. But if you were in the river, I could get you out." And the king says, "Oh yeah." And he goes down in the river. Then he says, "Okay, now what are you going to do to get me out?" s i t o n o n c h a i says, "Well, I got you down in the river. Whether you get out or not is up, is up to you." So the mind can play tricks on itself, just like that. It can lure you out with what you think is clever, or what you think would be entertaining. Or what you might think would be important, but right now nothing else has the same importance as your mind. And as you go through the day, you do have to give importance to other things, but you try to keep your mind in mind, the state of your mind in mind. And it's in this way the meditation can be an all-day affair, as the word meditation in Pali means to develop, and you can develop good qualities at any time. But right now is the time to give exclusive attention to the state of your mind. Get it focused on one thing. Get it focused on the breath, or on the parts of the body. Something right now that'll be your object of concentration, and give that total importance. And when you develop this ability to get the mind settled down quickly, then you can use that as you go through the day. If something comes up that would spark greed, aversion, and delusion. You can. Settle in for a few, a few seconds. Get your bearings. I was talking with some people yesterday, saying that this is the problem of trying to practice in the course of daily life: is you got so many other things going on in the mind that you forget. That's because you give importance to those things so much importance that you forget, and also because you don't stop for a moment and establish a center. So the more quickly you can establish your center now, the more quickly you'll be able to do it then. That way, your mind doesn't have to be totally like a flock of birds. It, it can have its place to settle down. It can have its sense of being grounded. So whatever thoughts are flying around, you still have a sense of grounding right here at the breath, right here at the body, and you can get in touch with it whenever you need to. And that's how the developing can become an all-day affair. <laughs>